Welcome, weary traveler from afar. Nights in the desert are cruel. You should rest here tonight. Sleep soundly, and know that I am watching over you. A shield is not enough to protect the most important things. That's why I must also wield a spear. Peace and good health should be enjoyed by all. If I can provide everyone with a life such as this, I will be content. I will always seek to protect the things that are most important, no matter what it takes, even when it looks futile. Stay warm, or you'll catch a cold. The thunder rumbles. Does it scare you? This strange powder, it is... fine like sand, but white as the clouds, and cold as ice. In the desert, a strong gale like this will create a sandstorm, so it's always a good idea to stay alert. I am right by your side. But if you're still nervous, just take my hand. Good morning, traveler. Did you sleep soundly last night? It's already noon. The golden eye of the sky glares down fiercely at this hour. <laughs> We should find some shade and escape its wrath. The night sky. That great canopy that descends when the light of day is gone. Who knows how many untold secrets it conceals. Yes, it's time to rest. You should sleep. Me? <laughs> it's still much too early. The night is beautiful. But it's also full of danger. I must keep watch, for your sake. Strange. I'm not sure what you mean. Both amber and blue are fairly common eye colors, I believe. Aru Village is where I was born and grew up. Even back when I was too young to understand anything else about the world, the one thing I knew for sure was that one day, I would take over from my grandfather as sworn protector of our village. Today, I am grateful to now hold this duty. It is what I was born to do. My father was a scholar from the Academia. He originally came to Aru Village on a research trip. And then he met my mother. As for her, unfortunately I only know what my father has told me. The day I was born, she began her journey into the eternal night. You will always be an honored guest of Aru Village, no matter the day or time of your visit. If ever you tire of your journey, know that here, you can always find rest. Aru Village welcomes you with open arms. As do I. They say that in every person's heart, is a precious box into which they place the things they treasure so that they may guard them for their entire life. My heart harbors many treasures. Care to guess what those might be? When I received my vision, people in the village kept telling me it was a blessing from Ahmar. But that doesn't matter to me. I swore to protect the village, and I will do it, with or without a vision. I do love spending time in Aura Village, but each day I spend here is also a reminder that if I ever start to let my guard down, sooner or later, the day may come when I no longer have a life to return to here. Have you come across Ajalenak nuts yet on your journey? They're naturally very sweet, and the villagers make the most delicious candies from them. If you're interested, you should give them a try. Perhaps it is a testament to the Dendro Archon's benevolence that I, a descendant of the El Ahmar bloodline, am able to live peacefully on this land. If so, I suppose I am grateful for this much, but... I am first and foremost a child of the desert. An eccentric girl who always seems to be in a trance... Yes, I believe I've seen her before. 
near the wall of Samuel. I couldn't make sense of what she was saying, nor the calculations she wrote down, but she seemed to be in a much better mood after she'd finished. Perhaps this is her way of relieving stress. A truly unusual scholar, unlike any other I've ever met. He sees and thinks about things in his own unique way. I only hope he never wields his sharp mind against the peace of our village. In the past, it was rare to see the Academia's General Mahamatra on this side of the Wall of Samio, but recently he has been showing up here all the time. I believe that the Aramites have some truly terrifying stories to tell about him. Whenever Dia brings any of her Aramites to stay at Aru Village, she always keeps them on their very best behavior. I have to say, it makes my life a lot easier. Ah, Dia. <laughs> she might look like trouble at first, but the truth is that she's really quite adorable. The sons and daughters of King Deshret are a proud people, and he is no exception. I have heard his tale of Hermanubis' glory dwelling within a worthy vessel. I also understand he has been active in Sumeru City recently. Apparently he has spoken to Sino and other friends of his plans to visit Aru Village. <laughs> I look forward to hosting him. You want to know more about me? I can't promise you a great story, but if you insist... Okay. Let's wait until nightfall. We can sit by the fireside, and I'll tell you all you wish to know. We are a people whose god is no longer with us. Lies pose no threat to us. The threat we face is the prospect of no tomorrow. The path before us is paved with barbs. There is pain in every step. Yes, we tread forward, clinging to a lie. But perhaps... Perhaps there is more virtue in this than in selfishly embracing the truth, and death along with it. Even now, there are those who hold on to a belief that King Deshret will be resurrected. But it's not possible. The past is but grains of sand, scattered to the four winds. The best we can do is to let go and leave the wind to carry them to their final resting place. My shield? Well, according to what people outside the village say, it has the blessing of Bennu. With this shield in hand, all the grains of sand are my eyes and ears, and the desert is ready to do my bidding. <laughs> Their imaginations can get a little carried away sometimes. But anyway, that aside, the main thing for me is it always works like a charm. <sighs> I'd really love to look into your future with my amber eye if I could. <laughs> Something tells me everything would be golden. Somewhere between the color of sunlight and honey. A color filled with hope. Your journey will be a smooth road ahead. I give it my blessing. I always love taking walks in the village. Seeing that all is still well gives me a sense that if today is just like yesterday, and yesterday is just like all the days before it, things have always been pleasant here, throughout history. Every now and then, a few violent thugs make the mistake of trying to disrupt the peace and tranquility of our village. I do wonder, is chasing them into a monster-infested valley perhaps a little too... merciful? What do you think? Do you have any better ideas on how they should be dealt with? To me, quantity is more important than taste when it comes to food. Life in the desert uses up more energy than you might think. After a day's work, there's nothing more satisfying than having a filling meal. I don't hate it, but compared to regular meat, eating fish is a real nuisance. 
Maybe it's because we don't really eat fish here in the desert. But for whatever reason, I'm just not very good at removing all those prickly little bones. <laughs> this must sound ridiculous to you. Mm, absolutely delightful. This must have taken a lot of time and effort. For someone who spends so much time on the road, your cooking tastes so... homely. <laughs> Maybe my definition of edible is a little too old-fashioned. Happy birthday! It's amazing to think that you were born on this day, years ago in the past. Do you have a birthday wish? If it involves going somewhere dangerous, let me join you. I'll be your guard. Or, if you're looking to rest and revitalize, come to our village, and I'll serve you the finest meats and drinks we have. I feel a newfound strength within me. May it help me to be a better protector. My shield grows sturdier, and my spear sharper. One is an unstoppable force, the other an immovable object. Oh, but I would never pit these against each other. I learned to wield the spear and shield, knowing that I would one day need them. And today, I use these skills to protect the village. So perhaps this new strength I now gain in the present is preparing me for trials that lie ahead in the future. I am now capable of venturing ahead of you and fending off all dangers that would seek to come your way. If you trust me, then I invite you to close your eyes and leave the enemies to me.